How are you, Jack? I am excellent. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. So the last time I was with you, I think you were in this seat and I was in that seat. <laughs> But New in, York. Uh, in New York, in the yeah. auto show, yeah, yeah. with a standing car, we couldn't drive, but now today we can drive, right? <laughs> I love Finally, it. it came out of the day. Well, some, we got some great roads to drive, too. Yeah. So let's go uh, in this uh, one of the three variants, right? Yes, sir. Of the new Camry. Well, that's what I keep liking, liking to say about this. This time we're not launching one Camry, we're basically launching three. What are the three? Well, you have your you have your kind of what I would call your standard or base grades, and then you have your, uh, so you have your LE, XLE. Um, great vehicles, you know, probably our most you know, volume. You have your S grades, you know, S, E, and XSE. Two and separate different looks. Yeah, different looks. Different looks, exactly. That's really cool about it. Different front ends, different rears. Yeah. And then we have the third one, as the third one is the hybrid, which is what we're in okay. here. Okay, so I guess the NASCAR car is not on the production line. <laughs> I, I'm still trying to figure out a way to get the NASCARs produced for everybody to buy. Somehow I'm not winning that battle. I know, and it wouldn't be straight legal, I would think. No, I don't think. think so. Well, that's so cool that you have that car here because that has done a lot to you in your area, marketing, yeah, right? Because yeah. NASCAR has been really good to Toyota and Toyota has been really good to NASCAR too. Wow, well, thanks for mentioning that. We, um, well, first of all, the car out here is Kyle Busch's yeah. uh, actual car. Um, and the number 18 car for NASCAR has been great and Kyle's been a great partner as well as all of our, uh, all of our drivers. But I will tell you, NASCAR um, has been, if you look at it now, which, which is pretty yeah. exciting for me, is we were able to put the new Camry Before that even came on production, yeah. I mean, think about that. I don't know that that's ever been done. I know. And it's been a lot of fun to see that. And if you look at it, you know, if you compare today, that car with the XSE, Mm -hmm. From the front, they look oh, a it's, lot the same. It's ninety yeah. percent. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been good. It's good for marketing. It's good for authenticity, though. When you look at, if you look at, you know, it's the most made in America car, Camry. Yeah, most parts from America. That's the way they they calculate that, right? Correct. It's it's about a content and production. We're proud of that. And Absolutely. Then, and we're proud of being a part of. You know, you think about being an American manufacturer, and that's what it takes to be a NASCAR American manufacturer. Absolutely. I mean, it just it just it's a perfect. Uh, blend and we are we're proud of that excellent so let's talk a lot about the production car okay the one that people are gonna actually okay. drive <laughs> <laughs> so three variants four cylinder six cylinder and this which is the hybrid right yes i understand this car is completely new uh everything about like platform technology design technology uh, info infotainment everything is completely new in this car so here's how i would say it there's two ways to put it uh one is that this car is not only when I say 100% new, the only thing that stays the same is the badge, is the okay. logo. Yeah. Okay. So every single thing, and people have had a hard time believing me, but it's true. 100% has changed. And that comes from what we call our uh, Toyota's new global architecture, or okay. TNGA. Mm -hmm. And TNGA was us re innovating and imagining the entire car from the ground up. So from scratch. And, and Katsumata is the name of our chief engineer. Basically started all the way over. Which must have been really exciting for him too, right? Well, he was he happened to be here last week with me. Yeah. And it's really exciting because he, when you're an engineer, you get to start from scratch. You can do a lot of new cool yeah. things. I guess there are limits to that too, but like that really gives you a clean slate yeah. to start working on. And that, that final product, can, you, you can tell the difference. Because I oh. understand also, this is the first time since uh, the Camry came to the US in 82. Yeah. It's the first time that it's been completely new since then, since it debuted, right? That's correct. Uh, and, and, and it's been a great car for, for the company and for consumers. Obviously, you sell a lot of them. Yeah. But uh, obviously, when you get a chance to redo it again and with new technology, you can actually put like a lot more, uh, you can offer a lot more. Well, here's what it is, you know, and people question us because if you think about it, 19 of the last 20 years, we've been the Camry has been the number one selling car yeah. in America. Okay. That's great. We're proud of that. So people would say, well, why change it all? Well, because as you no, listen, the industry has changed. Well, the industry has changed, and guess what? Consumers not only are changing, but they're giving us great feedback. Yeah. When you consider we sell approximately 400,000 Camrys per year, you're going to have 400,000 pieces That's of incredible. input per yeah, year. I know. And when they say, well, we'd like to have a little bit of a, of a, a wider stance. We'd like to have a little bit more handling on the front end. We'd like to have a little bit more acceleration uh, up a hill, whatever. TNG has allowed us to give you new suspension, new engines, new designs. Yeah. You continue, you know, we go on and on and on. 
And I think that's what is fun, is to take the best vehicle in the industry, best car in the industry, and make it all new and all better. And that's, that's what we're doing here. That's amazing. So, I mean, what we just mentioned, the change in the industry and the, the change of taste with the consumers, I mean, still 400,000 units a year is a lot, yeah. but yeah. like, I mean, that makes your job a little bit more challenging, huh? With like what it's happening now with the industry. I like challenges. Yeah. I like it. You know what? And, and I think this, I am proud to work for Toyota because Toyota never looks at anything just in the short term. Yeah. More often we look at things in the midterm and long term. And you know, in the short term, you can't control short term actions by other competitors or the gas market or, you, but you can look at it long term. And the challenge here is what to do for the most amount of consumers over the most amount of time. And that's what we're doing. So right now, a lot of SUV market uh, kind of growing. It leaves us a lot of opportunity for the sedan market. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. And that's that's what's that's what's exciting. And again, it's it's pretty significant. I mean, 400 units a car. I mean, there's, I mean, there hasn't been any obviously any other car that has done that yeah. for such a long time. But uh, again, like, there's this car. It's it's. it's Big. I mean, it's a mid-size, but like, I don't know how the terms are, are but like yeah. in the back, you can sit comfortably, five people, Easy. and you still have like the huge space of of a uh, trunk space, but then you also have the utility, you can fold the seats, right? And yeah. then you can, it's almost you like know, an SUV. So in this one right here, which yeah. is interesting about, because this is the hybrid, you know, hybrid would be one of the concerns, yeah, we talked about making it all better, was that the trunk was uh -huh. compromised because Blocked of the battery. The battery yeah. We moved the battery. Because yeah. when you're starting all over, we can reconfigure that. Now it is more SUV like it. You can fold the seats down. You have plenty of storage space. It's the full trunk. Plenty of uh, uh, room back here. I'm six foot two. I can sit easily in the back yeah, seat I, I bet. with space. Yeah. How about this though? I mean, I ask you a question. I know it reverse it. But what do you think of the of the new uh, display unit? Actually, I was gonna talk to you about that. I'm okay. gonna think of because I'm gonna switch the camera so we can see it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> So yeah, we were talking about the new screen and actually that's why we needed to switch the camera. But this is also, I mean, you said you said it already again, sorry. Everything no, no. is new so that, but not only the display, the design, I love this design by the way, yeah. like how the lines come in and like hold it like in a, in a throne there, like with a, but the technology itself, it's also like everything new in there. It is, and, and back, to the, back to the design, this movement is actually creating a space for the driver. Even the way your hand works on the uh, yeah. on the shifter, yeah, you you're look right. at the space yeah. in here. This is all created to be this your is mine, pod. This is yours, yeah. That's right. And the passenger, though, gets their own. Slightly different color, design, and it, it actually is creating two individual seats, but still able to share in the technology if you have a passenger to to to, to be easily get to it. And, and and I will tell you, as a driver, I, you know, it's obviously, the eye of the beholder and I'm a little prejudiced because I love these cars <laughs> yeah. right but I think it's so easy it's even tilted a little bit towards you right yeah. instead of used to being yeah, flat right. it's actually, angle it actually comes out towards you because we want the ease for the driver to make driving easier and more enjoyable yeah and with the new uh, hybrid technology I mean you not only get like really great uh, MPG but also like a more dynamic uh, yeah. driving right yeah I think it surprises people I mean if you think about it this vehicle is now in, this Camry Hybrid is getting the same gas mileage as your Prius. That's amazing. I mean, it's 52 miles to the gallon. Wow, that's incredible. That's combined. There's a 51 yeah. to yeah, 50. 50. But you think about 50 plus miles per gallon in, in a Camry. Then, yeah. In mid size sedan, yeah. In mid size sedan, that's awesome. But it also has a lot more acceleration and a lot more handling that you don't necessarily expect. And actually, paddle shifters, which I don't see in <laughs> some cars that are like sports grade, and right. they don't have it. I don't get that. But here you have them. So you have everything in it, and you're right. I mean, you can. We're going there. Like, you can control the, the speed and everything. It's, it's pretty amazing. It is, and I and I'm I'm a fan of the paddle shifters, just because I like to play. Because I like to change up my drive every day. Yeah, and it makes it more fun. So, so let's talk pricing. Uh, a lot of new technology, a lot of everything new. So, what's a I guess a new price too, right? <laughs> a new price range. Yeah, well, the new price range really goes. Um, it, it, I kind of look at the two polar opposites from from the from the mid twenty threes up to the, to thirty five thousand for the. You know, that's the fully loaded um, XSE V six and everything in between, um, with, and the hybrid starting right around twenty eight thousand. So. They're quite a quite a large range, and people will say, "Well, why?" And I say, "Because our goal is to provide something for everybody who's a Camry owner." And when you have, you know, 
I don't know if you're aware, we've sold 18 million Camrys worldwide, right? It's incredible. And when you look at how many of those millions are here in the U.S. and how many satisfied owners, we have a lot of people with a lot of requests. We want to we want to honor the loyalty of these great buyers, and um, so large range of product, large range of prices. We have something for everybody in the Camry family. Yeah, and uh, so 24 to well, around basically 24, 24 to 35. 24 to 35, but then also like as you said, like different looks in in the exterior and obviously like a different technology for example i'm noticing some of the models you have the panoramic sunroof yeah. in this one you have a single one that's correct. but there's like as you said like every a little bit of everything for everybody right yeah there is and i think what i'm i'm pleased of for our company is is that while we want to gain new owners we also want to take care of our loyal owners to do so you're taking the best of all of the requests of our as well as our dealers our dealers have which is the you know, most awesome car dealers in the U.S. are Toyota dealers. And they continuously give us feedback of what they're hearing from the showroom floor about what customers want. Yeah. We're just simply providing that. And with Camry, it's broad. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time and the opportunity to drive the Camry. And uh, I guess we're going to keep repeating this sequence, sitting in a car in the showroom and then going on a drive. I will always look forward to our next time together. I really do appreciate, uh, appreciate you and your work. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, anytime.